Okay, so we'll play the new ending with the updated Shimmer lyric. And there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Multiple Dimensions, part 66, crossover. In today's episode, we, we feel like in Reenter that we're approaching completion of the Composing in Multiple Dimensions series, and our new series we're considering is Composing in Motion, which we've already given some advance notice of by animating objects in the 3D platform. Uh, we updated our energy diagram quite a bit today. In particular, we uh, added, uh, we updated how we are scoring what we call the breath, which is when when um, there are silent bars, like here where it says breath, right down here, green. So instead of scoring at a zero energy, we just say you ca you carry over. So this is right here. This is a breath in here. So right there, you say you get this whatever the section is that was playing just before you, you have the same energy. So the energy carries over into the silence. <clears throat> and it makes for a considerably better looking chart. And it also lets us tell where things are changing because whenever you see a relatively sharp drop or increase, that tells you that there was a breath in there. So that's an update to our um, way of working with, with uh, silent energy of silence. We also completed updating our bass shimmer line. It either reinforces the backbone or it plays a counter melody. And we worked a lot on the counter melodies today, which you're going to play for you in a second. You heard a little bit of it just there a minute ago. And the counter melody, is, when it is a melody, it's either going bump, 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 the same as the backbone, or it's going da, 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 da. It's a counter melody. It's syncopated and time shifted. It's longer. It's in half notes relative to the backbone. Uh, we also ended up now declaring that we have five major arcs in here, Forgive, Racketeer, Shadow, Forgive, and Restore, which you can see up here. And we identified that uh, with the help of the energy chart by adding a trend line. And so wherever the blue energy crosses above or crosses below, the trend line is now how we identify and partition where the new arc begins. So we did all that. We also kept working with our animation, and we've fine-tuned the colors up here. Uh, we still tend to prefer not using transparency. It just seems more brilliant and visible. Um, but we we made the colors more nuanced, and they 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 drive less. Uh, they don't get so extreme. And we kind of like not having this frame showing. So we recorded with and without transparency and frame uh, animations. So we feel these colors are much more pleasing. And even when they're driven, uh, they don't overdrive. We're keeping that purple and that blue. And so like we said, we made a, we made a test render recording of that. So what we're going to do now is play the the updated score with the the baseline, the partitions, everything showing to date. And here we go.
So that concludes today's stream. I think we think you can hear what we mean by the counter melody. Da 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 da, and then here. Da 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 da, which is a very lyrical uh, three-time melody compared to the bump 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 da 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 da, and that's very pleasing. We like that a lot. So our ideas for next time are. Continue fine-tuning the composition. Uh, by adding some of the different notes down here in the bass line, it makes a different energy story. So, for example, it may become an ambivalent. It's a tonic triad on, on the backbone line, and then it's some other kind of dyad on the polyphone line, but then you throw in the bass, and you might even get you know, an ambivalence or something. And then uh, begin expanding this animation that we pointed to over here. Now that we have a mandala scene, and now that we know we have basically five major arcs in the composition, you know, possibly we would aim for five scenes. We don't know yet. So thanks to Miss Cleo for stopping by, as always. Uh, tune in next time to see what happens. Take care. Do come back. And do keep on streaming.